you so much, Kenyon. I'd like to invite our Dean of the College of Ethnic Studies, Amy Siyoshi, to join us. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you for coming out. It's such an honor and privilege to celebrate our 50th anniversary with strikers, faculty, staff, students, and community partners. We would not be here without the continued support of all of you. I've been tasked today to talk a little bit about where the College of Ethnic Studies is today and our commitments for the future. I'd like to be clear that our success is not ours alone, but made possible due to our community partners, as well as supportive administration, faculty and staff outside of our college, and most importantly, students who continue to take our classes. So can we just give a rousing cheer, applause to yourselves, all of you who enable our college to thrive. I'd like to begin by giving you a brief overview of our college. In the next five slides, I'll be talking about degree programs, how we serve the general education of the university as a service college, and our incredible faculty. After the overview, I'll be addressing two national crises and how the College of Ethnic Studies intervenes. So let's begin. We have a total of 17 degree programs comprised of five majors, nine minors, two MA degrees, and one post-baccalaureate certificate. We are additionally a service college, offering 9,000 seats across more than 170 classes in nearly all areas of the GE. And we've done a pretty good job over the past 50 years getting our classes in the general education. Here we are in the lower division. If you look at the top row, those are the departments, AAS, Asian American Studies, Africana Studies, AIS, American Indian Studies, LTNS, Latino Latino Studies, and RRS, which is Race and Distance Studies. Um, the numbers underneath the, the columns are the course numbers that fulfill the GE requirements uh, on the far column to your left. Here we are in the upper division. We have pretty good coverage here if you notice all the different classes across all five departments in the upper division GE. What is additionally remarkable about the College of Ethnic Studies is its faculty makeup. For fall 2019, over 130 faculty members are teaching in the college. Nearly all are of color or Native American. In contrast, faculty of color account for just 25% of university professors nationwide. Moreover, among the 43 tenured and tenure track faculty, women of color comprise 58%. Notably, women of color nationwide hold approximately 10% of tenured and tenure track positions. Our faculty composition is another window of how ethnic studies can push back against white supremacy and patriarchy within the professoria and offer students the rare opportunity to be instructed by faculty of color, and particularly women of color faculty at the college level. So currently, we're in the midst of at least two national crises, one in our executive leadership and two in higher education. The Trump administration has proposed countless actions to undermine immigrants, queer and trans folks, and people of color, including Trump's comment in 2018 which you may all remember when he said, why are we having all these people from shithole countries come here? The Trump administration has additionally taken aim at women and the poor, limiting access to birth control as well as debt relief. Moreover, California is at a crossroads. By 2025, California's population is projected to reach 42.5 million, of which only 35% will be white. And for sure, Trump sees the diversity in our state and the values it brings as a nuisance to his administration. Michael Brunwald of Political Magazine wrote that Trump, quote, loves bashing on California. And California, in response, has sued the Trump administration 46 times. With the election of Trump, hate crimes have spiked nationally by 17% during the first year. In the Bay Area in particular, hate crimes nearly doubled, or more than doubled, 
in cities such as Berkeley, San Jose, and Oakland. And if all that was not troubling enough, we are also facing a national crisis in terms of higher education. In May 2019, the New York Times declared, American higher education has a dropout problem. Each year, 20 million students make one of the biggest financial investments of their life to attend an institution of higher ed, and taxpayers invest nearly $130 billion to help subsidize their education. Less than half of the students, however, obtain their degree. The Public Policy Institute of California predicts that as the economy grows, opportunities for higher skilled workers will expand by 2025. Without four-year college degrees, Californians will become increasingly unemployable. And coupled with demographic shifts by 2025, that third and fourth generation Americans from immigrant families will be most vulnerable to income inequality. Thus, ensuring student success becomes a crucial step toward racial and economic equity for a healthier California. And we, as a college, are doing our part to advance retention and graduation rates. Data from our institutional research indicates that there is a correlation between ethnic studies classes and high retention and graduation rates. If you look at higher grade graduation rates for our majors, uh, this, these are the six-year graduation rates. 68% of ethnic studies uh, majors graduate within six years, whereas university-wide, the six-year graduation rate is 52%. Even for students who are not ethnic studies majors and who take ethnic studies classes, there's been a strong correlation that at least one class in ethnic studies will increase your retention graduation rate by 30%. Three or more classes in ethnic studies would increase your retention and graduation rate by 70%. Comments from exit surveys also articulate the value of ethnic studies courses. The National Survey of Student Engagement, or NESI, surveys outgoing seniors. And they said the top four things not to change about San Francisco State University, the support of diversity, commitment to social justice, effective professors, and number four, uh, both surveys explicitly stated the College of Ethnic Studies. We know anecdotally through ethnic studies faculty that many of them employ high impact practices, teaching techni techniques that foster greater student engagement and success. More formal NESI data indicates clearly that the College of Ethnic Studies appears to be a leader in many of the areas that they also pinpoint as high impact practices. We appear to be most strong in offering community engagement to students listed here as service learning. Community engagement means pairing up students with nonprofits to organize, incite, and facilitate social change. So if we know that both quantitative and qualitative data indicate that ethnic studies courses advance student success, how do we bring it to the larger university? One of the initiatives we've been working on is better coverage across GE courses that have bottlenecks or in areas in which we don't have as much representation, such as in oral comm, oral communication, and quantitative reasoning. We also know that ethnic studies double majors and minors boost students' graduation rates. So we've been promoting pathways for accessible and engaging degrees as well as careers after graduation. We have, uh, we've been, we have officially uh, four official GE minors. These are minors in which uh, the courses required for the minor all fulfill an area of the GE. We have just approved minors, which are also GE minors in Queer Ethnic Studies, Critical Path and Oceania Studies, and Critical Mixed Race Studies. We're also promoting double majors through, through this idea of BOGO, buy one, get one. And we're also pushing out to teacher pathways so that students can take a set of courses and then have it fulfill a one requirement uh, for a, 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 one of the exams that you have to take, uh, both in K through 12 social studies as well as uh, elementary school teachers. And in our continued commitment towards accessible and transformative education, we are initiating an online degree completion program for the one million Californians who have some college but were unable to finish as well as exploring with Project Rebound an undergraduate certificate program for incarcerated folks. We 
take seriously our responsibility to advance the success of ethnic studies in a nation state in which racialized bodies often feel battered by systemic violence. The College of Ethnic Studies sees difference not as a source of weakness, but a site of political power towards justice. Major or minor in the College of Ethnic Studies, or even just take a course and see how it changes you. Thank you.